Good morning. It's Friday, January 7th, 2022. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for your journey today. Our devotion today is entitled Epiphany's Child, and our scripture is Ephesians chapter 4, where the Apostle Paul writes, With the Lord's authority I say this, Live no longer as the Gentiles do, for they are hopelessly confused. Their minds are full of darkness. They wander far from the life God gives, because they have closed their minds and hardened their hearts against Him. They have no sense of shame. They live for lustful pleasure and eagerly practice every kind of impurity. But that isn't what you learned about Christ. Since you have heard about Jesus and have learned the truth that comes from him, throw off your old sinful nature and your former way of life, which is corrupted by lust and deception. Instead, let the Spirit renew your thoughts and attitudes. Put on your new nature, created to be like God, truly righteous and holy. So stop telling lies. Let us tell our neighbors the truth, for we are all parts of the same body. And don't sin by letting anger control you. Don't let the sun go down while you're still angry, for anger gives a foothold to the devil. If you're a thief, quit stealing. Instead, use your hands for good, hard work, and then give generously to others in need. Don't use foul or abusive language. Let everything you say be good and helpful so that your words will be an encouragement to those who hear them. And do not bring sorrow to God's Holy Spirit by the way you live. Remember, He has identified you as His own, guaranteeing that you will be saved on the day of redemption. Get rid of all bitterness, rage, anger, harsh words, and slander, as well as all types of evil behavior. Instead, be kind to each other, tender-hearted, forgiving one another just as God through Christ has forgiven you. Imitate God, therefore, in everything you do, because you are his dear children. Yesterday's devotion was of Epiphany, the dawning of the light, coming of the day star, Jesus, born to set us free to become Epiphany's children of the light. Apostle Paul does have a lengthy list here of what it means to shed the darkness and live in the light. The list includes an entire change of actions to go with the metamorphosis of mind and spirit. It's something like the children's song. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands, stamp your feet, say amen, do all three. (laughs) There's an echo from the sarcastic among us. If your heart is happy, tell your face about it. Well, sarcasm can be funny, but never when it hits close to home. The whole point of matching the actions of our lives with the change Christ brings to our hearts is exiting a life of darkness into God's marvelous light, just like Peter wrote. That's no small thing. Darkness is easy because you can do anything you want and you can blissfully ignore the consequences. When life falls apart, you just go on to the next thing you want to do and let everybody else bear the mess you left behind. Living in the light, however, means agape love, doing the right thing for your neighbors, family, friends, and even your enemies. That's a more demanding way to live. But whoever said following Christ down the Via Dolorosa with a cross on your back would be easy. If you can think of anyone who said that, make sure you notify the local psych ward of their whereabouts. They need supervision. For you today... If you're reading this or watching on YouTube, go back to the beginning and reread Paul's shopping list of light replacing the darkness. Read it slowly, looking in the mirror. Is that what Epiphany's Child looks like? You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.